Hey man. What's up? Oh. What happened to our studio? <laughs> we got robbed. <laughs> oh my gosh. They took the walls. <laughs> they took everything. They took the walls. They replaced them with worldly World, gray it's, walls. <laughs> it's called worldly gray. Yeah. Uh, yeah. These walls are so great. It's worldly. It is sinful, called that. You're stuck on that for some reason. Sinful walls. Yeah. No, Jaren, it's just the color that apartments are currently using. We walked in this room and Jaron was like, "This, this, this is, is worldly gray." Yeah, and I hated him. I hated him for being able to see this gray. No, no, no. no. It's just because we color. we just moved out of my apartment. No, you didn't. Okay, we're moving out of my apartment tomorrow. Sure. No, no. It's it's December 26th. Oh, we moved out of our apartment <laughs> long time ago. Sorry, my bad. But we had to repaint the walls. Because yeah. we had our old studio in there with the blue walls and all that stuff, mm -hmm. and so we repainted it. And it's worldly gray, and this is the color that all the apartments are currently using. Yeah, I I don't know why. Because it's worldly. They're secular apartments. That's right. Because <laughs> landlords are full of sin. Anyway, the only Lord in my life. <laughs> the only Lord that I Lord of my heart, my heart Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve our landlord. As for me and my house, no I pay choice. rent to God. <laughs> Oh, I tithe every month. What? <laughs> <laughs> I like I like ninth to my landlord. <laughs> What'd you say? Ninth. Okay. It's ninety percent of my income. Is it? Yeah. Okay. That, I mean that's what it is. That's what do rents you, are. Do you now. tithe? No. Roll a <laughs> piece off. <laughs> Give it like a couple more months. I'll be homeless. <laughs> it won't take long at all. I grew up next to a dog food. <laughs> I'm not joking. My town smelled like dog food. I and would that love. Wasn't, there was no factory. I didn't know. No I didn't one know. knew why. I mean, Pepsi's never going to sponsor us, but if they thought about it, and we've they, made a lot of fun of Pepsi on the show. Things I learned last night. <laughs> All right. Anyways, have you heard of uh, DD Palmer? DD Palmer? Yeah. Oh, you know what I'm thinking? Kiki Palmer. <laughs> <laughs> you said DD, and I was Could like, be in lineage, was like actually. <laughs> no, Kiki Palmer. <laughs> okay, who's DD Palmer? Here's what's interesting. Here's what's interesting about okay. that. Okay. About D that? What could. Okay. Dee Dee Palmer is our topic for today, but Dee Dee had a son BJ and then it's not far off to say BJ might have had a daughter Kiki. Okay, so this could be the same lineage. All right. I don't know. Most likely not. I would be surprised, but the, all I'm saying is the abbreviations. Kiki's not an abbreviation. Palmer? I do not know this man. Yeah, Dee Dee Palmer. I apologize to this man. I do not know him. Uh, Daniel David is his name. Daniel David okay. Palmer went by Dee Dee. Uh, he was born in 18 which Dee Dee is, is what you call the grandma who doesn't want to be called grandma. You know what I'm saying where she's <laughs> like, you know, because a lot because here's what happens. A lot of these teen moms don't realize that they're going to yeah. be a grandmother when they're 47 years old. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then they're like, "I'll oh, stop." And they're like, that. "Oh, shut!" Don't say that in public. We're in Applebee's right now. You can't say that out loud. <laughs> and they're like, "Grandma," mm. Mm -mm. and they go, "How about?" They're still flirting with the waiters. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Is that something your grandma did when you were growing up? She took you to Applebee's. And My grandma she... still flirts with the waiters. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> to be fair, my grandma is single. Why are you saying grandma? Is that That's what you what call it's called? Grandma? 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 What do you say? I say grandma. Grandma? Grandma. Grandma? Yeah, I don't say the, mm, <sighs> the ND. You say grandma? Grandma. Yeah. Like Shama Marema? Grandma? Yeah, grandma. Yeah. I'm going to call him that. Grandma. Grandma. Um, Speaking of Shama, we have a uh, show on February 2nd. <laughs> Berlin, Maryland. <laughs> just try to. I just got a plug tour dates. Is what my manager said. My manager said every time you record a podcast, you have to plug these dates. Yeah, but your shows, your shows aren't public, are they? Uh, that one is. <laughs> I also have a show on February twenty third. <laughs> Allegedly. Oh, <laughs> Not if I got anything to do with it. Uh, so Dee Dee Palmer. Dee Dee Palmer. Dee Dee is straight up like what? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Have you have you and Bree discussed what you want your grandkids to call you? No, we're so far from that. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> like, you guys, you guys are not even close to children yet. Yeah, uh, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, but like, I've thought about it. What do you want your grandchildren to call you? Have I not told you this? What do you want your children to call you? You're skipping a generation. No, I want to be dad for sure, mom and yeah. dad. Okay, yeah, that's normal. But when my yeah. grandkids are around, Papa. No, I'm gonna go by grandma, <laughs> and Reagan's gonna go by grandpa. I think that's freaking <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm grandma, but you start it young enough to where it's that's what I'm saying. The that's what I'm saying. They don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They go, <laughs> I want to go by grandma they're, and she'll go by grandpa. They're at their friend's house. Yeah, for Thanksgiving, sure. They're, they're talking like, about grandma, grandpa. grandpa. They meet, yes, you see what I'm saying? It's setting my kids up to get bullied. I'm setting my grandkids up to get bullied and then their grandma is so offended. So offended because they because at that time it's like 2050. The woke mob has infiltrated the olds, you know, and so I'm going to get my grandkids canceled. This for misgendering <laughs> their friends, <laughs> grandparents. <laughs> that is insane. That is crazy person behavior. Yeah. Um. No, th- th- this guy is um. Haxley Pod called me grandpa. That's the, gonna be their names in the future. Something Haxley stupid. Pa? Haxley Pod. I don't know. Something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, called me grandpa. Oh my gosh. Uh, no, we're did we even acknowledge that we're in a new studio? Yet? Yeah, you went. Oh, we got it robbed or whatever. Yeah, but did we say what's happening? Nah, we're still working on it. Dee Dee Palmer. <laughs> we're still uh, working on it. Yeah, well, It'll yeah, get there. it's a we talked about worldly gray. It is a it's a new room that we're in. Yeah, and uh, eventually it'll look better, which is what I've told everyone about my body for 10 years. <laughs> <Eventually>, <laughs> I go eventually this will look, look better. better. Yeah, that's what I tell my financial planner too. Eventually, my business managers were like, hey, better. you lied to us when we started this relationship <laughs> and I was like, yeah, but you signed a contract. So like we're yeah, in. but we're in um, no eventually this will will decorate this and make it look we'll put like a you know poster up or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but we can only do that if you support us on Patreon <laughs> that actually I was going to say like this is this whole thing that this whole move and yeah. the, the last move, you know, we've we started in my apartment dining room. We moved to a bedroom. No, in my we apartment. started in a space. Oh, I mean, like as far as like video. Sorry, oh, yeah, yeah, we yeah, started yeah. in like a, a recording studio. Then we moved yeah. to my apartment dining room. Got video. Got Alex. Moved mm-hmm. into uh, the bedroom uh, yeah. of one of my. That was a big move. Yeah, and then we got a actual part, like a, a actual, actual studio. studio. Yeah, and then now we are in a different studio. Yeah, uh, and all those jumps have only been po- like possible because of our Patreon supporters. So thank what's, you, like sincerely. What's wild is we've had some feedback about Jaren's move. Jaren lives in Los Angeles now. Yeah, and a lot of people were concerned about this show. But yeah, they were like, "What's going to happen with his liberal slant now?" Okay, <laughs> <laughs> like because now because Tim's going to be talking about his gas stoves and Jaren's going to come on here talking about electric vehicles the whole time, and it's like, "Oh shoot, is this going to devolve?" And it's like, "Guys, don't." Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. All right. All I'm saying is try to take my stuff. Give it like a couple more months. I'll be homeless. <laughs> it won't take long at all. <laughs> Doesn't take long at all in California. <laughs> no, but it's pretty wild, and it really is thanks to our patrons that we're able to continue doing the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While you live in a whole different state. I mean, we need more patrons because I don't want to fly Spirit anymore. <laughs> uh, like I want to fly like a good airline. Yeah, but. Yeah. Uh, like frontier at least. Yeah, you know every every spirit flight increases the likelihood of Jared Jared not making it back for a shoot. <laughs> so support us on Patreon so Jared could live. Yeah. <laughs> and Anyways, then, this episode but, is brought to you by Spirit Airlines. And then when you see Jaren in first class on Delta, you'll be like, I did that. I did with that. my Patreon I dollars. That. that was my time. You know, and I'm like, I, I hate the freaking. I that's it's like when rich people do the whole like donate to this cause. And it's like, hey man, we see your house. Why don't yeah. you donate to the cause? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking yeah. about? It's a, the good thing though is you don't own a home yet. So we've got some time I, where we can I do worry do about this. this sometimes is that because I have I don't have like a massive online following. I yeah. have a I have a, a decent sized one, right? Yeah. yeah. And people think that that means I make That means you're rich. Right. And I yeah. I need to be very clear that that He's is not. not the case. He's not, yeah. If you look at the 
which I feel like you know. I feel like you know when you look at me, you go, no, buddy, you don't <laughs> no, gotta we say get that. It. We, we know we you're not rich. Tell. I know, but like, I, I feel like sometimes I, I just gotta like be like, gotta hey guys, some of you are assuming I've, I'm, you know, I'm still in my 2017 Honda Civic, you yeah. know, and I'm in my 2003 Honda Civic. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm better than. I'm doing better <laughs> than Tim. I'll be clear about that. Oh well, let's be clear. I own a home as a homeowner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so D.D. Palmer. D.D. Palmer was a guy who was born in Canada in 1845, uh, lived there with his parents, Thomas and Catherine, for okay. a little bit. And then they moved to. What year is he born? 1845. And you think he could possibly be Kiki Palmer's grandfather? <laughs> yeah, I don't Timeline know. Timeline adds up. Here's the thing. Here's you don't thing. know who Kiki Palmer is. <laughs> <laughs> here's the thing. If. If D.D. Palmer uh-huh. waited to have children until he was like 80. Okay, I see what you're saying. <laughs> and then All and right, then BJ so waited 1845. <laughs> then BJ waited. Uh, yeah, so then they moved. They moved to uh, Davenport, Iowa. Okay, is that on the border? That's a place that exists. Davenport, Iowa. Is that mm, on the border? It's in the middle is in the middle. Yeah. Which one's on the border? There's a town on the border. Sioux Falls. Maybe that one. It's on the border with Illinois. Oh, Illinois, other Iowa side. Border. No, you're talking about. I don't know Iowa very well. Davenport. <laughs> Davenport. <laughs> it's Illawaiwa. I don't know, dude. If only we had a way to find out. <laughs> I, I, I've got his uh, uh, whatever you call this, his Wikipedia page up in front of me, but I don't see it. Uh, yeah, Davenport is on the other side over there. Yeah, it's on the. Okay, I was yeah, right. Yeah, you're right. I was you're right. right. You threw right, me right. off. You mean okay? So he moved. Oh, to, I don't know stuff, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he moved to Davenport, Iowa, and. Uh, Finish out his childhood there. Um, I was confusing I went Davenport and Cedar Rapids. Cedar Rapids. Cedar Rapids is in the middle. Here's a fun fact about Cedar Rapids, yeah. Iowa, is that they have uh, the Captain Crunch factory there. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like a Quaker factory, and so the whole town smells like strawberries. It's like legitimately like made good strawberries. Like legitimately, it's magical. Interesting. Like it smells like the wild berries from Captain Crunch. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. I grew up next to a dog food. Place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. My town smelled like dog food. I and would that love. Wasn't, there was no factor. I didn't know. No I didn't one know. knew why. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I knew sure why. The river. Because <laughs> I was out there dumping dog food in the river all day. It was a very expensive hobby. <laughs> why are you doing that? I don't know, man. I don't I'm know, just man. throwing bikes in the river, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. you see that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is that whitest kids you know? Uh, so do, do you, do no, you whitest kids I know is me right now. I didn't know we were gonna film. I didn't know you'd be able to see my legs. Yeah, look at those thighs. In this new studio. It's a good looking thighs. It's November. Sorry, it's December. It's December. <laughs> it's December. <laughs> so he he grows up and yeah. then uh, he works at a grocery store. Does a couple other odd jobs here and there. Then he gets into magnetic healing. Have you ever odd heard jobs. of Have <laughs> Cool hat. We need a soundboard. Okay, so here's here's another great thing about this new studio. Oh my gosh, dude. Alex is in the closet. <laughs> in the closet. <laughs> it's so weird. We can't even see him anymore. Yeah, shut, he shut the door. He's in a completely <laughs> different room. <laughs> this is awful. Oh man, <laughs> people have been commenting that our episodes are a little more off the rails lately, and I don't they care. Yeah, I don't give a that way. crap. They're better that way. Didi ever since I'm rich now, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about your poor time. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Didi Bobber, he, he gets into magnetic healing. Have you seen this? <laughs> <laughs> That's a toy. Okay. So anyway, he grows up Davenport, Iowa, and, and oh, okay, this studio is pretty great. I was in the closet. He gets into magnetic healing. Okay. Have you seen this? No. <laughs> no. You haven't seen this. It was a big thing in the 1800s, like mid 1800s. Is it the magnets would just heal you of all? Yeah, the you ailments? just kind of rub some magnets over your joints and stuff. And I've it, seen the thing where you hold two, like bent yeah, rods, that comes from and it. you can that comes from it. Communicate with ghosts or whatever. I don't think it's ghosts. <laughs> I think it is. is I'm it serious. Ghosts? Yeah, you're supposed to be able to communicate with the oh. people in the afterlife. Well, it's like it, it is. There are some remnants of this. There are those um those wrist things that you wear that's supposed to help your arthritis. You know what I'm talking about? You relief bands. Yeah, and they yeah, got the two like magnets on both sides. So of we actually have one of those for Reagan's car sickness. Yeah, there it are, works great. There are. It's I mean, an interesting it thing works great. It's an interesting thing because there are certain things in it that Tim. <laughs> it, it works, works great. great. <laughs> it works great. 
Go to Tillin.com slash magnetic bracelet thingies. Here's the thing that <laughs> here's the thing that works about that that company is their bracelets and they're depositing money into my account. Both those things worked, <laughs> worked perfect. So great. Uh, no, so the, so the there's some there's some conflict <laughs> of if, if it's real science or not, <laughs> like chiropractors. Yeah, uh, so they do uh, they do uh, there, there's the magnets that go on your wrist. Okay, is what we still have, and then there's kind of like honestly kind of similar to, to what supplement superstore has, like things that you can hold that like send magnetic waves through you. Um, they don't do that. I don't, what do you think S two is doing, dude? It's they do at the Blue Springs S two. <laughs> they they have things that send magnetic waves yeah. through you. Yeah, he said here, put this put this piece of metal on your back. You're joking, right? And then I'm gonna hold this other magnet up to your chest, and that's how much I'll, that's how I'll know how much you weigh. <laughs> You're joking? No, I'm serious. Are you serious? Do they not do that at yours? They, they put something on your shoulder. They didn't put anything on my back. Oh, no, okay. You take your feet off. You stand on the thing, and then you yeah, and your, you hold the thing. You hold the, yeah, yeah. Is that sending magnets through your body? I don't know. I asked him one time. I was like, "What does this do?" And he's like, they "I don't know. know. They have no <laughs> idea." Yeah, I don't ask him too many questions. <laughs> they just sell you supplements. Yeah, they're like, I mean, I'm I freaking huge is. now, though. It worked. <laughs> they're like, it'll be seventy dollars. I trust them. <laughs> um, no, so so that like is the magnetic thing, but early it was literally just magnets that you would hold and then they would just kind of like wave magnets around you and they it was supposed to help with blood circulation, which in theory like there's iron in your blood. So like in theory okay. you can magnetize the iron and circulate a little bit better, but it, it's been proven that that's not how that works. Um, and then a bunch of other random stuff like you. It was kind of a panacea type thing. I was like, oh, you feel you got headaches. Let me rub some magnets on your forehead and you'll feel better. Yeah, um, and so he did that type of stuff. Okay, um, and it pretty quickly became something where even back then people were like this seems bogus um, yeah, and also sure. this doesn't work. I think it was more of this doesn't work like it wasn't like that looks weird and seems bogus. It was like a, this isn't working um, and yeah, the people who were doing it were kind of like scammy people and yeah. so people pretty quickly were like oh it, this is snake oil because um, snake oil was also happening at the time um, oh. <laughs> and so they they picked up on it pretty quickly um, snake oil works though. Yeah. <laughs> Dylan.com slash snake oil. I mean, honestly, do you think we just try to sell it? We can sell some essential oils uh, and call it snake oils. We just make them Dylan snake oils. oils. It's just vegetable oil that we send to people. <laughs> it, well, <laughs> we might be onto something. And it's kind of like you know what you're buying. You yeah, know, you know it's a joke. Yeah. And yeah. if we charge $75 <laughs> for it, that's the thing with gag gifts. It's like people buy that stuff. Yeah, knowing it's fake, but people buy it. I mean, if you would buy it, leave us a comment, <laughs> and then we'll put it on the store. <laughs> that way, Jared can stop flying Spirit Airlines. Uh, <laughs> How did you get here in first class, Mr. Myers, Diamond Medallion member? Uh, uh, I'm going to tell you something. Gonna it's going to sound like I'm joking, but I'm a snake <laughs> o- snake oil salesman. <laughs> so real snake oils. <laughs> I am a yeah. we move, and like, but we move to oh, so taking advantage of people. No, they know No, they know it's snake. Oil. They know it's a joke. They think it's they do it for the bit. <laughs> They're doing it for people the have made me rich for the <laughs> for joke. The bit. <laughs> <laughs> this is my life is, is a it, long con. It's yeah, I mean not a con. But not a con. They know <laughs> it's not fraudulent because it's, I'm being 100% a honest. Joke. I'm, being I'm in 100% front of Congress clear. and they're like, June, you have to account for your billions of dollars and I'm like, it's a <laughs> it's joke. Thing, it's a joke. Everybody not, knows it's a joke. Oh we said it. Gosh, we had this dude, clip. People the can't take a freaking joke it's these just days. A joke. Jared, you committed tax fraud. <laughs> it was it a was joke. Just a bit. <laughs> if I tell you it's a bit from the beginning, I it's sent, parody law. I sent the IRS <laughs> some jumbled up headphones and I said you untangle them. Yeah, yeah. You fraudulent <laughs> corpse of a person. <laughs> and uh, and then they said this is this is illegal. You have to pay your yeah. taxes on your snake oil stuff. Yeah. Anyway, so DD sets up a whole practice doing this a like whole medical ma- practice into having port just magnetic killing people and it's going decently well. Wait, did like, DD create chiropractic care? He, no, he, inv- he he didn't create anything. He created Magnetism. Okay. Well, he didn't even create magnetism. He practiced magnetism. Okay. And so he's doing magnetism on people, and he's got a, his little practice. His, his janitor. He had a janitor who was deaf from birth, or not from birth, from an accident. He he was in an accident, and it oh, deafened him. Is that the way you say that? Okay. He's in an accident, and he lost his hearing as a result of the accident. Deafened. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think actually that might that. be. I think that's. What'd you say? I don't know if you're if you're listening to this <laughs> and you're deaf. <laughs> could you let us know? <laughs> you did not like that joke. I immediately winced. 
<laughs> yeah, I think it's deafened. Yeah, because it's, it's deafened. Anyway, yeah. um, it's definitely deafened. <laughs> All right. Uh, so his his uh, his janitor was deaf. I believe his name is Leland. I believe. And don't quote me on that. But I believe okay. we'll call him Leland for now. Leland uh, was deaf, and uh, they had developed a pretty good relationship. Like he worked for him for years. Uh, and one day they were just kind of talking about it, um, and he's like, "Well, you mind if I just kind of take a look at you?" And he was like. <laughs> what do you mean talk? <laughs> uh, you might if I take a look at you. <laughs> no, he's like, he's like, sure. You're the doctor like you, whatever. Fine. And so, but he couldn't say it to me to write it on a board. <laughs> do you mind if I take a look at you? He could probably read lives <laughs> and he goes, you are right now. <laughs> <laughs> do you mind if I take a look at you? <laughs> His eyes are shut. <laughs> He hasn't, he, goes, he hasn't opened his goes, eyes. You have to verbally respond. Him. I can't. Sorry. I can't see. You have to verbally <laughs> respond. <laughs> <laughs> this is a dumb bit. So he he says yes, and the doctor opens his eyes for the first time in their relationship. <laughs> oh, I pictured you blonde. <laughs> I thought you looked way different. <laughs> and when you said grandpa, I thought. I, that, I, that's on me though. I just I'm assumed sorry. you were a grandma. I assumed. I'm sorry. That's on me. I, yeah, I know it's only 1867, <laughs> but I, I would like to be more progressive than that. That's on me. Sorry. That's on me. <laughs> sorry. Let me write that down that's for on, you. That's on me. Yeah. Do you do I need to close my eyes again? Um, so he kind of looks he's he's doing his magnetic thing on on him. Whatever. Okay. He realizes he's got this big bump in his neck. And so he just gives him a. He's like, he's like, he's like, could I try to like pop that out? He did create chiropractic. <laughs> yeah, I just did like that you revealed it so soon. <laughs> Sorry, I knew that chiropractors wasn't wasn't invented in Iowa. Uh, so he he pops his neck, uh, and he could hear the. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> so he pops his neck, and uh, they just kind of go on their way. And then over the course of a couple of days, the guy's like, "Oh, I heard something today." And he's like, he's like, did you really? And he's like, yeah, he's like, let's try it again. He pops his neck again. And then over time, eventually he begins to be able to hear again. Okay. Allegedly, the guy had in his accident, like there was some swelling in his neck or something that pinched the nerve and his that was sending yeah. that signal in his brain. And so whenever he, they popped his neck, he was able to hear again. I can't believe I made fun of chiropractors earlier. <laughs> they were doing this. That's funny. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, and so <clears throat> when this worked, Dee Dee was like, "Oh, I'm gonna be so freaking rich." Uh, <laughs> so the way that my chiropractor tells the story, yeah, yeah I'm interested to hear this because I should say actually, uh, I have seen six different accounts of this story. This okay. is the one that I've seen repeated the most, so I think this is the real one. But I have seen this story very, very different. Well, the way my chiropractor tells it is, it was a deaf guy. Mm-hmm. Who he popped his neck. It was his. He he even tells you which one it was. <clears throat> yeah. And then uh, and he said he could hear so well. He could he he told he told Dee Dee Palmer, I yeah. guess, which I didn't recognize the name at the beginning. But uh, he says that uh, I could hear the rickets on the carriage outside. Oh my gosh! And so every time we go to the chiropractor, we'd leave. And my chiropractor, he's a nice guy. Yeah. And he just knows a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like about chiropractic. Yes. Yeah. And he just like he's very. I wouldn't say socially awkward. He's just he's the kind of guy that he doesn't want to talk about anything unless that he's not that passionate thing. about. Yeah. 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 And so you know you're like, hey, you know, what are you doing this week? Just seeing some family in New Jersey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I was just wondering, like, how does this work? I'm glad you asked. Uh, and yeah. So and then you talk to him for thirty seconds. Yeah. And then he's like going. It, yeah. and he's got all these. He has like drawings and stuff yeah, that he, he shows you. Pulls out his graphs. So every time we leave, he really does though. Yeah, and every yeah. time we leave, I always just look at Ray and I go, I can hear the rickets on that carriage <laughs> on over the there. Carriage over there. <laughs> there. There's no carriage. Yeah. I was like, but I can hear it. Yeah, it must be miles it. away. <laughs> it's a far away. Carriage. It's a really far away. That carriage, carriage is so far. Is there it's an actually, Amish community somewhere? <laughs> that carriage is. 70 miles and 70 years in the past and I, I can hear it. I hear the Amish. <laughs> I know they're around here. I, I hear some Amish. Hey, do you guys hear Amish around? 
That's a great thing to say at next party. You guys at. hear any Amish around here? <laughs> he goes, oh, you guys not even hear him. <laughs> you guys know where the Amish are? <laughs> Do you guys know where the Amish? I've been looking for the Amish. I've been here for. Say that. Let's as get next- this night started. Let's find some Amish. <laughs> <laughs> say this at your next LA gathering. <laughs> like, you guys know where the Amish? Guys, are I've been out here, here for a couple months now. <laughs> Where are your Amish? Where people? are your Amish? Like, surely you guys have some just ultra conservative people who have no technology somewhere around here, right? Right? The Amish. <laughs> the Amish. <laughs> you're enjoying it and you're enjoying Tillin. You've been around for a little bit. I want to invite you to be a part of our Patreon. Uh, we have uh, a Patreon that has uh, early access to all of our episodes, ad free content, both audio and video. Uh, we have a discord with our hosts and producers. That's a ton of fun getting to hang out with all of our patrons in there. Uh, we also do uh, once a month. Now we do these live streams with our patrons. Uh, we hang out. We get to know each other. We eat pizza. It's a blast uh, along with a bunch of other benefits like uh, a merch discounts uh, message on your birthday, like fun stuff. Uh, it's definitely worth it. We're having a blast with our patrons, um, but if that doesn't sound like something for you, uh, then get the heck out of here. Just kidding. No, we love you. Uh, uh, thanks for checking out Dylan Podcast. How do they? How do they get it though? I realized I forgot to put a CTA in mine. Oh, damn! You were doing Gum that. It. Yeah, they can text Dylan to six six eight six six. Thanks, Jaren. All right. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah. So he. He discovers this thing and he starts practicing it to specifically restore hearing. So deaf people start traveling from around the world to see this guy's office in Davenport, Iowa. He gives them a tour and then he cracks their neck. Gives them a tour. Yeah. (laughs) Why is that part? He keeps his eyes closed and he's like, "Can I look at you? (laughs) Can I look at you? (laughs) Can I look at you?" He's he's, he's like, "Oh, I just, I sorry, I thought you were a grandpa. You're so pretty." So pretty. <laughs> so, <just> like, <laughs> so <laughs> he starts doing this, and the deaf community from around the world starts showing up at yeah. his office to get fixed, and it's not working. Um, and uh, so he realizes, oh, this doesn't cure hearing, but uh, it does. Like it is like good still for stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, because I mean, let's be honest. Like a lot of people are showing up. Like this isn't cure hearing, but I like it. (laughs) (laughs) But I gotta be honest with you, it cures me. (laughs) It's satisfying. I I haven't had meaning in three decades. One day, this is gonna be called ASMR (laughs) on TikTok. Yeah, one day we'll have these things called microphones, and people will come from everywhere to listen to the sounds. (laughs) <laughs> and kids on TikTok will make fun of it. Um, is so he he starts we to gotta realize get the kids on TikTok to make fun of our podcast. That's the only way this thing's going to grow. I think you're onto something. Yeah, we should hire a bunch of them to make fun of us. <laughs> to be <Patent> continued. <laughs> See, patent pending, whatever. All right. Hey, if you're looking for a job. <laughs> Here's how I get to make fun of us. Ready? Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everything that Gen Z makes fun about millennials on TikTok is like stuff that they're, they're like they make fun of us for like the sleigh all day and yeah. it's coffee time. I think isn't that Gen X and millennials? Every millennial I know that does that yeah, stuff does we're it. We're making fun of Gen X. ironically, yeah, right? We're making fun of someone else. Yeah, and, but we just do it so well that Gen Z is like, oh, we're making fun of millennials, and, and you're yeah. like, no, we. Nah, we're, we're better than you. We were making fun. We were making fun of them. Yeah, we just were funny. We just were better at it. And you're not. Yeah, you are much more make funnable. This sounds like the segment <laughs> that we recorded after we were like, let's get them to make fun of us. <laughs> <laughs> you idiots. <laughs> yeah, dummies. That'll you work. Let's find something you can make fun of. You got played. Yeah, that'll be fifty dollars because you know they're not going to listen that that back half of this. No, they're not. Oh and man! And then they'll take that. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Anyways, this is our podcast. Um, so, so Diddy, uh, he, Doctor Palmer, please. Uh, not yet. Um, 
So DD starts practicing. Yeah, you can just make up a, a science and then just be like, "Yeah, this is chiropractic," and now I'm a doctor. Uh, uh, I, uh, this was an interesting time in history. Yeah, um, because medicine was starting to really come into its own as a science. Um, germ theory happens during his lifetime. Okay, um, okay, and so all of this is this is kind of. Uh, magnetism and a lot of other pseudo scientific medical treatments were all popping up at the same time like the the goat glands guy. Yeah, this was all the same time frame where people are figuring out all this different stuff. Snake oil was happening and then the nation as a whole came together and eventually the American Medical Association was formed to be like we need to come up with a standard for this because this is crazy right now <laughs> and so yeah. this is all happening at the same time and so medicine was medicine as we know it today was in its infancy. Like there was always doctors and stuff, but medicine as we know it right. was was different. So at this time it was kind of like, yeah, you could go become a doctor and like get a doctorate degree, but like you didn't people would still see you if you weren't a legal doctor. Okay. If that makes sense. I'm saying you just <clears throat> you'd go by doc. <laughs> That's also true. <laughs> like there was no no one was going to be able to verify that. You just move into town and be like, yeah, I'm a doctor. Yeah, it like, was okay. Much easier to fake those documents those documents Doc. This makes a lot of sense now. There you go. Yeah, is that why they call it doctored? Uh, I don't know if you doctored the documents. No, it's because you physically altered them. You did something to them. Yeah, so that Same way you can tell everyone you were a doctor. Sure. <laughs> so um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so he uh, so he got into uh, he, he started doing this starts popping people's backs and stuff and he starts to have he's like he's like I got to come up with a reason why this matters basically. I don't know if he, he never said this, but it very much appears like he was like he's like I got to come up with a medical reason for this. Okay, so I got to come up with a medical <laughs> reason for this. What it, that's what it looks like. So when he realizes it's not going to make people deaf people be able to hear he's like he's like well, we'll do just about anything else. So he identifies uh, or as Chiropractors will say he discovers what's known as subluxation. Yes. So subluxation is um, something with your spine not working right. Subluxation yeah, is you could probably describe. Yeah, it. is the idea is that uh, it is turned and not so like your spinal cord has a passageway mm -hmm. and when it's subluxated, it's when one of them is turned and so it's almost like you have a, a water hose that mm -hmm. you've pinched a little bit and mm -hmm. so now that passageway is thinner. Interesting. And so the theory as explained to me yeah. is that your your spinal cord is still sending signals, yeah. right? Yeah. It's just dampened signals yeah. essentially. It's weakened. Weakened. Interesting. Yeah, that's a better word. Weakened yeah. signals. Interesting. Um cuz my chiropractor will often pop something in my back and he goes you're going to poop better this week cuz your brain's sending <laughs> sending better signals to your intestines. And I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Here's what's interesting. Um, Every time I go, I wear a relief band. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is not how they want me to promote them. <laughs> my chiropractor won't let me open my eyes until I. <laughs> what until if every says. brand deal I get, I come on this podcast and I just make fun of them? <laughs> I mean, like, they're not gonna, they're not gonna check. There are some that I've looked at where I'm like, I mean, Pepsi's never going to sponsor us, but if they thought about it, and we've <laughs> made a lot of fun of Pepsi on the show. <laughs> I mean, Pepsi yeah. sucks, but Pepsi sucks more than Gen Z does. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to? I, I do love Pepsi Nitro. Though. They did try to cancel us Pepsi? for Gen Z. Oh, that's right. Try to cancel us God, because we and went. Don't you ever. Because let's be real. Okay. <laughs> Don't come at us over medieval times. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. We almost got canceled for medieval time. Did you think we got canceled for? No, no, no. no. I, 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 was, I just was making sure that you knew. Yeah, we oh, almost got canceled so for going to medieval up. times. Yeah, medieval times is freaking sick, man. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know they were on strike. <laughs> It makes sense though, because they didn't even it turn the sense. power on. Because bro, <laughs> it makes way more sense that they were on strike after the production we saw. It was so bad. It was, it was the actor, like the, the 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 nights were great, but like the production team clearly had never done that they, before. They didn't even know how to turn the lights on. Yeah, all the production stuff quit. They turned the fluorescent lights on. Yeah, and then yeah. like so, there's a and they turned the AC the show, off. There's part of the show. 
at a medieval times where they fill the room with fog and like cool lights and like almost mm. like laser stuff and there's this gray horse that does this beautiful <laughs> dance and through the fog looks probably amazing. All yeah, right. Yeah. When with it's the music a, an and empty everything. arena silent <laughs> fluorescent lights <laughs> And, and, and you, you can hear this arena full of people eating chicken with their hands, chicken just, legs with their hands. There's no music. And the horse is just, and the horse is just doing its <laughs> thing to no music. Way less impressive. It does make you wonder, like, how did that take off in medieval times? Like in medieval times, that was as cool as that got. Well, they had live music, right? Oh yeah, they would have someone with like a harp and lyre. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Hey, the guy with the harp, probably better. And then a guy over here <laughs> who was just so <laughs> <like, laughs> <laughs> Yeah, last week I fought a bear. Uh, and, <laughs> and I kicked it. I got butt. this shark tooth necklace when I jumped off the boat and fought a shark. <laughs> I'm a ninja. Like, I'm an Whoa. entrepreneur. I met Mark Cuban <laughs> last week. <laughs> I mean, it's like I just don't understand I why went we to have the Super Bowl in the band. <laughs> I went to- <laughs> What's the biggest lie you ever told? The biggest lie ever told? Yeah, you got caught in. <clears throat> you know my Super Bowl story, right? No. When I was in third grade, this is I don't care. The <laughs> podcast, I, I don't care about the topic. The when I was in third grade, we were talking about the Super Bowl in class, and yeah. a kid across the room. Went, did you say you just went? Did you say you went to the Super Bowl? And everyone in the room turned and looked at me. And as a third grader, I knew how star power worked. <laughs> so I went, yeah, yeah, I did. And I rode that way for like two weeks. Yeah, until uh, my mom talked to the teacher, and the teacher was like, hey, hey, he told us about your trip to the Super Bowl. I don't think you went to the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and my mom was like, we did not. Yeah, and so my teacher made me get up in front of the class, stand and in front of the class, confess? and say I lied. Wow, yeah, that's brutal. Oh, it sucked. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. But it was really because of Randall saying that across the room, and then like I like yeah, just said yes, put you in a spot, and then he hyped it up more. Yeah, and then it became like I wasn't like actively lying to people a bunch. Yeah, but yeah, he yeah. like you weren't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then once it snowballed, it was kind of like yeah. Yeah, you know, if someone asks, I'm gonna say yes because I'm a third grader and I'm not stupid. I know how to, you know. Interesting. Brooke wasn't talking to me before <laughs> she thought I didn't go to Zoom. You know. Yeah, I don't know if I could tell any of my lies on this show. Okay, uh, they're still active. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, so. Sure. <laughs> so I don't remember how we got here. Uh, uh, yeah, we were talking about. Uh, yeah, 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 we're talking about Dee Palmer. So yeah. Dee Palmer essentially was just like this. this he is discovered a real, subluxation. Um, yeah, that's right. <clears throat> which should be noted. I've d- I've done. I, I'll, here's what I'll say for this episode because it's something that so many people actively do. Yeah, I was like, I want to. I want to. I I did a decent bit of research on both sides of this argument because yeah. I wanted to. I didn't want to just look at one. End. I have been to the chiropractor. I do feel better after I go to the chiropractor. Yes. I don't think it's the permanent solution though. Yes, I think ultimately the stretching and workouts that I've done for my muscles have made me feel a lot better than chiropractic care. Yes. Did. Yeah, that's that's what medicine, most modern medicine, would agree with. Okay, that statement. Sure. Um, <clears throat> uh, uh, some people are pretty anti chiropractor. Some subluxation mm-hmm. uh, as real. a concept is not real. It has oh. not been. It has not been uh, scientifically proven. Yeah, there has not been any scientific evidence to show. Not real. There's not been any scientific evidence to show that anything even resembling subluxation exists at all. Okay. Um, and there's been multiple double blind studies and multiple like double blind. Yeah, multiple att- <laughs> multiple attempts <laughs> and he tried to heal him with the cracks, but they couldn't they see were only single blind <laughs> and that's not you can't even tell. 
<coughs> you know. But here's the thing: after he cracked their backs, they could see the rickets on the carriage outside through the. Walls. And he's like, "It's 2023. I think we did something Where real messed are up." Your <laughs> Where are your eyes at? Oh, my eyes are in the past. <laughs> my hey, that's eyes, a movie idea. Someone goes to the chiropractor, they get their neck popped, and, and then they then, walk around, and, and then their they eyes, see, it's like alternate reality. They see the world 200, 200 years, years ago, ago, but they're where they they're are. They're in that, you know what I'm saying? They're so they're just, moment. they're talking to a lamp post, but it's George Washington, you know? Interesting. Yeah. Hey, maybe we should. Robert and Don't Chase. Don't touch my knee. <laughs> my bare <laughs> knee. <laughs> stop, not even. Stop. Maybe we should. That's what they're going to make fun of us for. <laughs> Perfect. I'm looking for something. Everybody's looking for something. I'm like, I'm like starting to reach that point in my Celsius. Okay. <laughs> no, we should ask Robert and Robert and Chase yeah. to write that screenplay for us. All right. Let's see where you go with it. They're watching this. Hopefully, as they're doing their jobs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Robert and Chase are new editors. I don't know if we've talked about them at all on nah. the show yet. Okay, <laughs> we we definitely haven't. By the changed. time this episode comes out, we, they may not be. <laughs> they got fired. <laughs> uh, they uh, we haven't changed our outro, so it probably still says Connor. Oh, um, I think it's still. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, how many Caleb's are in our <laughs> outro? <laughs> <laughs> Um. Anyways, what Robert needs a C name. <laughs> Crobert. Crobert. <laughs> okay, Jason Crobert are our new video editors. They're great. Crobert's kind of a cool name, though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, I kind of want to stick with that. <laughs> I like it. Christian. I don't know if we've talked about this Calyx. on the show. Calix. Christian. Uh, I've stopped calling him Christian. I start calling. I've called Christ. Christ. It says Christ in my phone. <laughs> You call like, him Christ. Yeah, I told him. I said, I said, does, does anybody ever call you Christ for short? <laughs> and he was like, no, nah, nobody. Not really. And I was like, I'm changing it. My phone. And so I did it. Now Siri, when he texts me, it'll say Christ said, <laughs> and I'll be like, he never said that. <laughs> Christ said you can do all things. <laughs> yeah, uh, but he he usually just says, hey, I sent you an invoice. Can you pay me already? Ah. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much all we talk about. So, um, <laughs> DD, oh no, subluxation. They they've attempted it's not scientifically in, proven in X-rays and MRIs. The, we cannot find evidence that it exists. Sure, um, and so a lot of doctors are pretty passionate that it doesn't. Uh, a lot of some some chiropractors are. The Chiropractic Association um, will tell you, or recently has started to try to distance itself from subluxation because okay. it doesn't exist. Uh, anyways, um, <clears throat> that's interesting. So imagine being a chiropractor for like thirty years though, and then having yeah. to be like. I have yeah. to walk that back. Yeah, uh, a lot aren't. Um, so I'm going to walk that back. Like half my patients can't after I paralyzed <laughs> them from bad practices. So he says, "Okay, the subluxation thing, kind of like you said, it's got that signals. You're you're weakening the signals. So anything in your body that's wrong with your body, if we fix this, like we can fix that." And so that's what he brands it as. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Some chiropractors definitely fall into that. Like you don't need chemo. You need chiropractic and yes. you're like, ah. it becomes a panacea. Yes, and it, that's where it becomes really questionable and that's kind of where he started as was any, like I was a chiropractor because wrong. my hip like yeah. I, I, I felt like I wasn't <clears throat> able to like I couldn't drive long distance yeah. without my hip being weird, which I will say that is one of the one of the few things that I've seen where um, uh, medical doctors um, will say that's a that's a decent reason if your lower extremities have issues then you probably do have some spinal issues um, and so going to get adjusted and that could would be one of the first things that they would recommend um, because they don't want you to do surgery if you don't need it so right. they would say go to physical therapy try a chiropractor try all these other other things if you have issues in your lower extremities then that could be an actual spinal issue then an adjustment could help there Okay. Anyways, <clears throat> but what DD branded it as was whatever's wrong with you because it's that spinal cord. Right. If we adjust it, we can mm. fix anything. And so yeah, that's that's what I'm saying is like, oh, I'm gonna poop better now, or I'm gonna yeah. Oh, you're gonna breathe more clear this week. You're gonna yeah, you're gonna be able to. <laughs> you're gonna sleep better this you week. You come in and he's like, hey, so how was those poops this week? <laughs> Does he ever do that? He, may, he makes me keep a journal. 
So he starts practicing with the subluxation thing. Okay. And he says, whatever is wrong with you, come, I'll pop your back sure. and you won't have whatever problem you have now. Right. And a lot of people like are like, oh yeah, it does help me. And some people are like, that doesn't help at all. And this guy like has views. pictures of this guy all over the office. Yeah, he's cool. I'm saying like now that I've remembered his name. Yeah, he has pictures all over his office like fire in the hole has pictures of bald knobbers <laughs> all over their <laughs> ride. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, thanks for checking out this episode. If you like this and you want more of our show, we've got plenty of other episodes. One of my favorites is Action Park, a super sketchy theme park that was basically overrun by teenagers and they just made the rules. Uh, it was in New Jersey. It was a wild story, uh, but we did a whole episode about it and I think you'd like it. So uh, when you're done with this one, go check out that episode. But for now, back to this one. That's okay, pretty good. Anyway, uh, so he <laughs> he starts having people come and and there's like mixed reviews, yeah. but a lot of people really like it and are showing up. And some other people are like wanting to learn to do. And this at this and time, is he like this. doing their necks and stuff? Yeah, he's doing everything. He's popping them. Okay. Sure. <laughs> okay. I don't remember the chiropractor. My chiropractor will I sometimes watch. say, "I learned a new move," and I go, "No, thank you." <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> I learned a new move. Like, let's, just do tri- let's just do tried and true, man. There is now mixed yeah. reviews, but there's a growing population of people who are wanting to practice it. And they're the like they're wanting to be chiropractors. They're wanting to be chiropractors. Because they're like, look, this guy's making too much money. <laughs> yeah, they're like, hey, it's working. Um, and the American Medical Association is getting wind of what's going on, and they seem to be asking questions. Okay. And so he realizes um uh, and this is, I, I should say, we fast forwarded years. Like I was going to say, how long is decades. this? Like he is now, he's established a college in Davenport. His son is growing up, and his son has actually began to practice. And like a lot of time has passed. Like he's been practicing for years. More and more chiropractors are being trained. And now the American Medical Association is knocking on the door. This is early 1900s now, and they're asking a lot of questions that he is concerned about um, because it very much seems like they are trying to shut them down yeah. because they don't think it's legit. And so he says. <laughs> He says, uh, okay, if we try to operate as an actual medical establishment, we have to go through the American Medical Association and get certified for all this stuff and do everything that they want us to do. Yeah. But he said, but because we're in America and we have certain freedoms, uh, we can. I can do whatever I want. Well, he says, he says, if we're a religion, then they can't infringe upon the our church religious of chiropractic our religious practices and so he writes a bunch of books on the philosophy of chiropractic and he establishes establishes it as a religion and this is a quote from his <clears throat> so this there's a, a book uh, I believe it's called the chiropractors adjuster which is his religious guide on okay chiropractic and uh, here's what he says ab- about chiropractic in that book. He says, we must have a religious head, one who is the founder, as did Christ, Muhammad, Joseph Smith, and many others uh, who have founded religions. I am the fountainhead. I am the founder of chiropractor in it as its science and it as art and it as philosophy and in its religious phase. He, he went on to say, I am the only one who can do that. And he goes on later to say that the text that he writes about chiropractic, he was inspired by God to write. And he says that he claims that <laughs> he claims that there was a another doctor who had been gone for like dead for years who comes to him in visions and tells him what to say. Yeah, he just holds the to- magnets up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He talks to the dead. <laughs> he's got a Ouija board uh, and, and he's like, we should have a quote on our new studio wall that says I am the one DD Palmer 38 <laughs> two or something. <laughs> I am the only one. And so he establishes it as a religion to protect it from the American Medical Association. Okay. Uh, and it really does become a cult, which is interesting because it's very similar to how people in chiropractic behave now. A little culty. Um, and so he, okay. he sets it up as a, a, a church to protect it. But his son BJ um, did not like this decision. He wanted it to be a business. He didn't want it to be medical. He didn't want it to be religious. He wanted it to be a business. And so they started to kind of have this feud 
that went on for years. Okay. Uh, well, the American Medical Association. If it's a religion, they don't pay taxes either. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sorry to jump ahead to your story. Yeah. So they uh, they start feuding, um, and uh, they end up getting to a spot where BJ's running the college. Uh, his dad's running a pra- like their practice, their family practice, and his dad's kind of running chiropractic as a an institution. Cult. As a, mm-hmm. yeah, as and, an idea. As an idea. Yeah. And his son is running the college, training all the chiropractors. Well, the American Medical Association ends up coming through with a ruling basically like, hey, you guys are all frauds and you're lying to everybody and anybody who's practicing this needs to go to jail or pay a fine and stop practicing. Okay. Uh, what year was that? Uh, I believe it was the early 1900 like 19. Uh, I don't know the exact date. I want to say like 1905 ish somewhere in that ballpark early 1900s. Yeah, and so <clears throat> um, uh, Didi being the man that he was, he was like, he was like, he's like, I will not pay a fine for this. I will not recognize that you won't recognize this. And he's like, so you'll have to put me in prison. La, 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 la. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I can't hear you. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Let me crack. Um, so he goes to prison uh, for it. His son pays the fine. His son's like, whatever, I'll pay the fine. Oh my gosh. Um, and he goes to prison for it. Uh, well, for his beliefs. Yeah. Well, he stays for a month. And realizes I've made a mistake, and so he sells the school. The to prison system works. <laughs> he, he, he sells the school to his son, and he. So says, what you're saying is he was an adju- He was a chiropractor. <laughs> yeah. And he would take people's spines and make them straight. Yeah. And then he got scared straight <laughs> out of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty accurate. Um, and so uh, he sold the college to his son. So that way he could pay his fine and get out of prison. And so he did that and I'm a little foggy on the details of what happened here because there was this big judgment that came down. You're right. (laughs) I'll clear it up because there's a big judgment that happened and everybody had to pay their fines or go to jail. Um, But then after that all kind of happened, like a bunch of chiropractors were able to just keep practicing. And so I don't know if like, okay, it was I don't I don't know exactly how they work weaseled their way around that, but they did and they were able to continue practicing. So BJ continues running the college and my chiropractor at the beginning of 2020 gave me a letter. Yeah, that he said if you get pulled over and they're like, why are you out of your house? You tell them you're on your way to the chiropractor and you give them this letter to prove it. What? The very very beginning during very beginning during like the lockdown the 2020 and I was like, I was like, do you think the SWAT teams are going to pull me over? He was like, where are you going? I'm like, hi V. <laughs> yeah, well, you, I forgot when you said 2020 what happened in 2020, and I oh. thought he was just a general like. And he was just like, here's over, a letter. You get pulled you over, the <laughs> dude. I'm like sorry, going 90 sorry, in a I'm 40. Chiropractor. It's okay. <laughs> sorry, it's urgent. I need to get adjusted. I haven't pooped in days. <laughs> yeah, my subluxed. I'm subluxed. I'm subluxed. <laughs> <laughs> and the cop legally, the cop the cop legally, legally has, has, has to, to let say, you go. Okay, I'll lead the way. He's got to say two things. One, I'm a cop. He, they, <laughs> they have, have to tell, to you, tell that. you that. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, that guy's a cop. <laughs> and then they have to go. Okay, I'll escort I'll you escort there. I'll escort you to the chiropractor. <laughs> You can call 911 yeah. and ask for that. That's why chiropractors has COP in the name. <laughs> They're all cops. cops. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, so BJ now has a school and starts running the school. Yeah. Uh, DD and the, the, there are there's a fierce rivalry between the two of them. They're right. both uh, uh, DD is building this philosophy of chiropractic and running it as a religion. BJ is like, no, we're a business. Forget all that religion stuff. We're a business and I'm making all these devices, medical devices for all the doctors I'm training devices. Yeah, so and a lot of them are actually still in use today. Those little clicky things. Yeah, the, the things that do the measurements and the, the find the subluxations. Um, he was fi- creating all these devices. Yeah, um, Ironically, uh, he built a device. Um, what's it called? Remember in Scientology, our Scientology episode, that device that they use with the Converse, where they have to hold those things in the beginning to decide, yes. like how saved they are or whatever. He built 
the device that would become that like because they became friends at some point and L. Ron so Hubbard chiropractic is is linked to Scientology. Yeah, L. Ron Hubbard became friends with BJ and that they, makes so much sense and L. Ron Hubbard was like, what's that? And he was like, oh, it does this thing for chiropractic and he's like, he's like, can I have like 50,000 of those and then they use those as their devices for Scientology to see if you were saved. What? Yeah, whatever they those are called. They're those meters. Well, no one who's subluxed can <laughs> yeah, be a Scientologist. So subluxed. <laughs> Um. Is, anyway, that's a total sidebar, but yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense that they're connected. Um. So BJ was trying to build this business where he was training this these doctors. Okay. He wasn't a doctor himself, but he's training these doctors and supplying them with their cert- certifications, and then he would sell them the devices. And so that was his business model, cool. which was a good plan. So he wasn't actually doing the chiropractic stuff anymore. No, he was just he was building a business around. Got it. it. Um, that served the people who did it, which was pretty smart because he knew. Oh, hey, there's a lot of people like practicing in this is sketchy right now, and he's like, I don't want to do the religious thing because that's weird. Um, but he's like, but if I supply them, then maybe I can get around the legality of it, okay. which he did for a while. Um, <laughs> uh, and so, meanwhile, Didi goes out to California and tries to start a college in California. It fails. He then goes to. Uh, it failed. The college, yeah, the college in California. Failed. Yeah, it didn't work. Uh, <laughs> really rethinking my move. <laughs> and then he goes to Seattle, drives in Seattle, it fails. And then I want to say he went to Phoenix, somewhere in the uh, southwest. Desert fails. So then he goes back to Davenport, Iowa, and opens up a college two blocks from BJ. Uh, and it's like, come to my college. I'm the only one who's capable of teaching you this stuff. And so the the feud is starting to get really bitter at this point. Um, and allegedly. In uh, oh, December, yeah. Didi of, gets murdered. In December of 1913, <laughs> uh, there is a homecoming parade in town. Okay, Didi is marching in the parade, and BJ runs him over with a car and kills him. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm sorry. In the, in the parade. <laughs> in the parade. Oh, wait. <laughs> what? So Didi doesn't immediately die of his injuries, but his son literally runs him over with a car in the parade. Um, in the parade, in the parade, in the in the parade, <laughs> <laughs> runs him over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. I think you was he going the parade route? No, B DD was marching in the parade. Yeah, 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 yeah. And BJ just by himself. And BJ, let's just talk about that for example, though. He's just DD is doing his own parade. He's the only person in the parade. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. That's just that's just jaywalking. That's not a parade. That's just jaywalking. Yeah, if here's no, a, here's he's a, marching the boys. He marching the parade if, doing next time you're jaywalking. If the cops give you trouble, hand him a note. Hand him a note. This, this, this is, this a, is parade. a parade. <laughs> I'm allowed legally, to be here legally. legally. You have to tell me <laughs> if you're a cop <laughs> and then you have to start this parade. <laughs> you have to join. You have to get all the cops and they have to lead and us. every horse in town <laughs> and they've got to be at the end. <laughs> And also get a you, fire truck. Also, Santa has to be at the end too. You, I don't know where he is. Call him. He's got to be here. I'm doing a parade. He'll find us. <laughs> so he's in the parade, just marching. He's marching a parade, and and his son, <laughs> and his son. Is, is his son driving the parade route. I'm saying that's what I'm saying, or his son just drives into the parade. I'm and hits pretty him. sure his son just drives in and gets him, uh, <laughs> and so, but he doesn't die. Two weeks later, he's back in California. He but do people at the parade have seen BJ hit? <laughs> Everybody knows BJ ran him over with the car. It's not a question. And they're like, I, I don't know if this makes me want to go there more or less. <laughs> well, he ran him over and he showed him a note. He's like, <laughs> said no, and he said, "Sorry, I'm on the way way to the." My religion practice. said I could do this. <laughs> My religion said I could run my dad over. You can't. You can't. It's in the religion, um, and so uh, he goes to California, and he ends up dying in California two weeks later of typhoid fever. Okay. And BJ is exonerated of all of his crimes. Seems very fishy to me. I, I don't know. So legally speaking, technically I think, I think speaking, I think it's sir ty sir typhoid. <laughs> sir typhoid. <laughs> He was giving everybody sir typhoid. <laughs> sir typhoid. Oh, I'm sir typhoid. Sir, sir typhoid. <laughs> That's so dumb. Uh, so he gives him sir typhoid. <laughs> sir typhoid. Sir typhoid. Sir typhoid freak. He gives. <laughs> 
because he dies of typhoid <laughs> fever allegedly. And then also <laughs> the 32 <laughs> broken bones in his body. <laughs> but most of the typhoid, the typhoid I think typhoid we're pretty sure it was just that. It's like my shot someone and they were like, yeah, they had the flu <laughs> they though. The so flu. yeah, yeah, yeah. He just stopped breathing. We don't know why. <laughs> that's like every person on the internet that's just like, oh, pff, were they vaccinated? That's probably why they died. You're like, yeah, you don't think it was yeah, the five story was, fall that did them in? You don't think it was the other stuff? <laughs> you don't think it was everything else? <laughs> it was like, that was probably the you least. You don't think it was the plane crash he was just in that might have taken his life? You think it's because he was vaccinated? <laughs> Um, so anyway, so he dies, uh, and it turns into a business. BJ is like, we're burying all this religion stuff. Not my dad, though. <laughs> <laughs> we're not burying we're him. Not burying him. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm packing him up with a bunch of stuff and putting him in the college. <laughs> 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 and it's he's the training dummy. You can pop my dad's. <laughs> 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 yeah, for fifty bucks you can pull my dead dad's back. <laughs> he's pretty sublux. <laughs> right? he's, he's so sublux that he's dead. <laughs> it's like it's like the sorcerer's stone, or no, not the sorcerer's stone, the the stored in the stone. Oh. And it's like it's like whatever chiropractor can pop best can bring him back to life. <laughs> you have not passed. <laughs> Freaking. I'm trying to raise DD from the dead. <laughs> DD dead. I'm trying to raise dead dead over here. <laughs> That's what DD stands for, right? <laughs> dead dead Palmer. <laughs> this is stupid. I can't believe he got hit by his own son, <laughs> dude. His son kills him. <laughs> no, that typhoid son, kills him. The son kills him, and then he starts a business and becomes an empire. Um, and uh, for years, the that's American, my biggest fear. The American Medical Association. Your, your son kills you. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, your Are biggest you fear is like going to prison for yeah. a crime you didn't commit. Mine yeah. is straight up that when my kids will kill me. Yeah, I mean that's likely. Like I will sleep with my door locked at night. I think you're that afraid of. I'm me. pretty afraid of my kid killing me. What about Ray? Ah, she's not. She can overpower her so easily. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, just have weak kids then. Oh yeah, I'm going. Don't to. I'm let not them be feed strong. Any protein. <laughs> yeah, you can decide how strong. Hey, why are. are your kids like so malnourished? I want to uh, be able to beat them. Just want to make sure I can overpower. <laughs> I just want to make sure I can overpower them, dude. <laughs> All right, I think this rug, this rug is definitely getting my allergies going. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I didn't think it would. Shoot, but I'm feeling it. We should vacuum. Uh, it's so oh, they 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 start the business. They start doing chiropractic for okay. years, and they establish the college. The Palmer College still is like the college for chiropractors in Davenport, Iowa. Okay, it's a big deal. I'm pretty sure it's Davenport. We keep saying Davenport. But I'm not positive. I'm pretty sure. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I'm sorry. I'm texting. <laughs> they continue this battle with the American Medical Association to this day. Um, in the seventies, as recently as the seventies, chiropractors were going to jail for practicing chiropractic because the American Medical Association was like, "You're doing stuff that's not real." Um, recently, there has been, um, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, recently, they've softened their approach because in the nineties, there was a chiropractor who sued the American Medical Association. Um, saying that, like for uh, libel, okay, um, <clears throat> and lost that lawsuit big time. The jury was like, "Yeah, we all know you're making this up," uh, <laughs> and so lost that lawsuit, and it was this whole big big deal. Well, in 2003, I believe uh, he reopened the case uh, and used some weird niche law to basically say that that whole uh, uh, jury was like unfit to to roll on that case and in this reopened case they were able to then win that case against the American Medical Association. Okay. Um, and the whole case basically that he brought forward was that there was this kind of sleeper cell within the American Medical Association that was trying to take down chiropractic from the inside as a big conspiracy theory to the point where there was a chiropractor who 
allegedly went undercover within the American Medical Association, got a job with the American Medical Association, and leaked a bunch of documents. Um, we still don't know who his name is, who his actual name is. He goes by sore throat. <laughs> Leaks a bunch of these documents, allegedly from the oh, yeah. <laughs> from the American Medical Association, saying that like yeah we need to crush chiropractic. Yeah, we don't know who he is. He goes by roast beef, <laughs> <laughs> but the With E's two, are threes. threes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so sore throat brought this out, and then this guy sued him and won. And and ever since then, um, the American Medical Association has pumped their brakes because they they lost that big lawsuit. And it yeah, was, it was a big deal for them. Um, but the American Medical Association still stands pretty firm on the fact that chiropractic is something that can bring some relief and is something that can is like a uh, a pain relieving treatment, but it is not a medical treatment. Okay, is their stance. Um, there is there is most of the doctors that I see talking about this say there is a a place for chiropractic as if it like. If you have pain, it can alleviate that pain, and there are certain things that it does actually help. Um, but it is not something that is actually fixing the problem. You're you're dealing with the symptoms when you're dealing with chiropractic. You're not dealing right. with the problem itself. Okay, <clears throat> and there's a place for that. Like if you need pain relief, like it can be a place where you can get pain relief. Uh, but there's also uh, a lot of people who practice chiropractic that act like it can cure everything. Right, right, and right. that's sketchy, and that's not true. They there's act like no, if you just keep coming back, <clears throat> yeah. And there's no evidence for that. In fact, there's evidence to the contrary of that. And so, uh, oh, that if you go too much, you're actually making it worse. Yeah, because it's like it's just like what people say with your when you pop your knuckles. Like the more you pop your knuckles, the more you need to pop your knuckles. And if you uh, continue to do that, and then you stop, you ha- you cause problems. But if you continue to do it too much, you can actually open yourself up to situations where you can cause damage. Um, it's the same thing with your back. You're if you pop things in your back too much, you're weakening all those connection points. And so eventually okay. it could cause bigger problems. And especially with chiropractors, like there are certain moves that are totally safe to do, but there are some new moves they could learn. <laughs> 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 I just learned this new move. Yeah, this and new you move. go, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, there's some moves that they could do that are pretty dangerous. Yeah. And if they make a mistake, like there are people who die from chiropractic adjustments that were botched. Shouldn't have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so it is something I'm not saying like chiropractic is something that you should never do, but it's something that you should think of as like a massage. Like it's not medicine. Sure. Um, it's something that could relieve and could be helpful and could be good, um, but it's not medicine. And it was founded by a guy who thought it should be a religion, um, <laughs> which is crazy. Speaking of religions, <coughs> we do have a Patreon, <laughs> and uh, the and only ones who could lead it, yeah, are us, myself, and Tim Stone. And here's the thing: the government can't take this from us. <laughs> They could try. <laughs> they could try. Come and take it. But here's the thing: we'll run I'm them gonna over. I'm going to hit you with parade. my car. <laughs> I'm going to hit your dad with my car. <laughs> yeah, and then we're going to let people. Pop and I'm going to hit dead my body. dad <laughs> with a car. We're all in our dads with cars. <laughs> <laughs> That's our religious beliefs, and you can't infringe on them. <laughs> I have a letter right here. It says, says three things. One, are you a cop? <laughs> God, you have to tell me legally. Two, I'm going to hit my dad with a car because of the <laughs> religious belief that I hold yeah. dear to my heart. And you can't infringe on those. And three, if you disagree with me, <laughs> fiddle off. <laughs> Thanks for checking out this episode. Uh, if you liked it, you can subscribe or watch some more episodes or some clips. Um, but then I, I need to make this like 20 seconds. My producer said it has to be longer, so I'm just going to keep talking for a little bit. And is this long enough, Connor? Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, thanks for being here. <laughs>